Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23511. This is a build that brings into the dev channel a few new features, a few improvements to existing features. In this video, we're going to try to cover them all. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is bringing more improvements for Windows Spotlight and there are trying out some new features that include previewing images at full screen, multiple opportunities to learn more about each image, and a minimized experience. To enable Spotlight on your computer, just open up the Settings app, and then you can go into the Personalization tab. And you have here the Spotlight theme that you can use or to go to Background, and from Personalize Your Background, you can select Windows Spotlight. And you can try out those new improvements Microsoft has added in this build. If a camera streaming issue is detected, such as camera failing to start or a closed camera shutter, a pop-up dialog will appear with the recommendation to launch the automated Get Help Travel Shooter to resolve the issue. Regarding Windows Copilot, Windows Insiders in the dev channel who log in and are managed by AAD, soon to be Microsoft Extra ID, will notice that the Windows Copilot preview is no longer available in this build. This is just a temporary issue. You may enable it temporarily via this policy located here in the Group Policy Editor, User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then Windows Copilot. Please note that this policy name will be changed in an upcoming flight. Regarding the start menu for people logged into Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise Editions with an AED account, Microsoft is providing a richer preview when hovering over files such as Word documents under the recommended section of the Start menu. For this initial release, thumbnails will not be available for all files and a later update will enable this experience for more files and for MSA users. Additionally, when you right-click on a cloud file recommendations, there is now an option to quickly share these files. And also, if you go to All Apps in the Start menu and scroll down a bit, you'll notice that Windows 11 system components will now show a system label. This change is beginning to roll out and so not all insiders in the dev channel will see it right away. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, notifications will show as a bell in the system tray and when new notifications come through, the bell will colorize based on your system accent color. I think this is great. When there is no notifications and the clock is visible, the bell will be empty. Notification counts are no longer shown. I think that is a very nice improvement and this is better than showing a notification counter. Regarding the File Explorer, Microsoft made some changes which should noticeably help improve the performance of the calculating phase when sending a large number of files at once in the File Explorer to the Recycle Bin. Microsoft also fixed the bugs that were causing some crashes that resulted in them turning off suggestions and snap layouts and now they are beginning to roll this out again to Windows Insiders in the dev channel. When you're hovering over the Minimize or Maximize button on an app or Win plus C to launch the layout box, you will see app icons displayed in various layouts options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft also fixed the bug that could cause instability which resulted in them disabling the new settings homepage but now this is beginning to roll out again and they are beginning to roll out a new option under settings, bluetooth and devices, phone link to disable phone link altogether in Windows 11. This setting will prevent phone link from communicating with your mobile devices. This build is also moving the dev home app to Windows tools in all apps and then of course Windows tools. You can open this up here and you'll notice the new dev home app here of course this menu for windows tools should be redesigned by microsoft because as you can see even though i'm using the dark mode it has a very weird wide slash dark mode window and of course this is a legacy window from microsoft it has the old sections from uh, windows 10 i think but of course this change is a very welcome one and regarding new changes and improvements in this build this is all there is to it but now let's talk about a few fixes in this build first of all regarding the file explorer microsoft fixed an issue where copying files out of larger hives or using extract all might have been slower than expected for solid 7z or rar archives. They fixed an issue where when decompressing some of the newly supported archive format types, the folder names might become gibberish. They also fixed an underlying issue where in some cases the context menu background in File Explorer was appearing transparent. Regarding notifications, they fixed an issue that was preventing apps from opening when you selected inside a notification pop-up or that app, and they also fixed an issue causing insiders to unexpectedly see a notification suggesting you turn off notifications for an app named Notify Icon Generated AU Mid. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability, and they also fixed an issue that was causing quick settings to not open when selecting the network volume and battery icons in the system tray. Regarding task view and desktops, they adjusted the desktop switching animation to ease into the animation a little more. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed an issue where search was not actually hiding when you set it to hide in taskbar.
or settings and regarding Windows Inc, they fixed an issue where writing in the address box in Microsoft Edge might not work correctly. Make sure Microsoft Edge is up to date with the latest version. And these are all the fixes in this build. If you want to check out all the known issues for this build, you can go into the article below in the video description. So basically, this was the video for today with the build 23511 from the dev channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was about your home tech base. Until next time, have a nice day.